gon' give it to ya. What? Wait for you to get it on your own. X gon' deliver to ya. Knock, knock, open up the door, it's real. The name's Dean. James Dean. And I'm on the scene. I'm James Dean, and I'm on the scene. I'm at the Kentucky State Penitentiary here to see Ralph Bays, who was sentenced to execution for killing a Kentucky sheriff and deputy. Has a, he has agreed to meet with me to talk about his latest uproar about the lethal injection he will be facing, AKA what they call now cocktail. Him, he will believe on his, he will be given this on his execution date. Excuse me, Mr. Bays, can I have a word with you? Would you care to share with us your take on the latest uproar you have caused since arguing about the lethal injection you're scheduled to receive in the future? Uh, yes, I would. Um, I personally believe that the, uh, the cocktail or the things used in lethal injection is violating our Eighth Amendment as it states that excessive bail should not be required, uh, nor excessive fines imposed, um, nor cruel or unusual punishments inflicted. Uh, the chemicals used deal unnecessary pain to the person on the receiving end and have also created complications for those being executed by them in the past. Well, you heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. According to Bayes, the lethal injection drugs are u that used on him at least didn't mean unconstitutional. I'm here with one of the Supreme Court judges that were directly involved in this case. Um, let's hear your opinion. It was a 7-2 decision. Um, we felt that the Kentucky's lethal injection scheme uh, does not violate the Eighth Amendment as long as it's performed correctly. Uh, it is very easy to not perform it correctly, then therefore it would be cruel and unusual, but the inmates did not show sufficient evidence that it was used incorrectly. Thank you very much for your words of to this case. Thank you again. It's James Dean. I'm on the street to talk to some people of what their opinions are on this whole whole thing. What are your opinions on the death penalty? No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, um, so uh, my opinion on the death penalty. Hold on, let me let me think about that for a second. Um, I actually am in favor of the death penalty. Um, my opinion on the death penalty is I think it's necessary. I mean, these people are obviously there for doing a crime that they need to be penalized for, so I agree. Um, I guess I'm for the death penalty. If someone did something that wrong, they should not be with the rest of society. I don't think the death penalty is necessary. I don't think it's necessary at all. And it shouldn't happen at all. My opinion on the, the death penalty. Yeah, yeah, I, um, it, it, it's all right, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Just, uh, just kind of eat my fix. Do you feel it's in cruel and unusual? Do I feel it is cruel and unusual? Um, I don't think it is. I think the death penalty is given to the people who actually deserve it. Because uh, obviously most of them have done something relatively heinous and have committed a bad crime. I don't think it's unusual. I don't think it's unusual at all. It's happened for I don't know how many years, and I think this is the way it should be. Uh, I don't think it's cruel or unusual. They've done something wrong to make it happen that they have had that bad of a punishment. I think it is cruel and unusual. You know, if we're gonna act like these savages, um, do, you, do, you th do I think it's cruel and unusual? Um, no, because I mean, I get injections every, every day. Um, I, I don't think this one is, is, any, is any different. Uh, uh. Do you know how it works? Um, do I know how it works? Um, I know that, uh, that it is obviously an injection, but the most I know about the cocktail is that the first drug used is meant to uh, knock the inmate unconscious and to incapacitate them, and then the rest will kill him um, by means of suffocation, I believe. Um, how
how it works. You can know, I've never been there, I've never watched it, I don't really know how it works. All I know is they put a needle in you and you go bye bye, sleepy time. I, I don't know how it works, I'm not a scientist. Do I know how it works? I, I do believe I have somewhat of an idea on how it does work. Um, they get a needle and they stick it in their arm and you know, that's it for the people that did it. They don't feel anything but the person gets that needle into his arm and his life is over. I think that's wrong. Wrong. Dude, do I know how it works? <laughs> it's an injection. What else is there to say? <laughs> uh, um, what if they incorrectly administered this injection? Um, if they correct, incorrectly administered the injection, the chances of that, I feel, are very minimal to none. Uh, there are very rare cases of that happening, but um, the success rate of these lethal injections are very high, and I think that we should keep it the way it is. If there's some kind of pain or some kind of malfunction with this injection, you know, I don't, I don't think that's necessarily right, but I also don't think it's going to happen very often. I mean, I think it's very minimum if it ever would happen, or even if it could happen. So, thank you. Uh, I don't know what would happen if they incorrectly administered the injection. I guess they would still end up dying. If they're incorrectly administered. Now, that right there, that's enough for me. You know, if we're having these kind of problems to where these people have to have pain for their last breath of life, that's just cruel. I mean cruel and wrong. Well, I mean, I, I, you, I think all of us know the chances of that are, are slim to none, so I don't really think it matters, you know. It's, they're getting an injection, you know. <laughs> Stop! I'm here with one of the Supreme Corn... <laughs> One. Stop. Go.